I'm about to throw down in this kitchen. Hey guys, I am so excited to invite you back into my home for another cooking video. I'm about to cook my Christmas feast. I am cooking ham, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, green beans. I think I'm going to make a walnut salad. For dessert, I'm having apple pie, maybe a cheesecake, mm, and whatever else I got a taste for. Let's get into it. So I am going to um, get started on my potatoes. I've already washed and dried my uh, sweet potatoes and brown potatoes. I am cooking two only because um, they're starting to grow sprouts and I don't want them to go to waste. So I'm going to go ahead and cook those up and then I'm going to um, cook my sweet potatoes as well and I'm going to put them all in the same pot. I am in Southern California and <laughs> The forecast for today is, I want to say, I think 79. So I got up extra early this morning and I'm cooking. It's about 9.30 in the morning because I know that it's going to get hot today. And I want to try to talk to you guys as much as I can um, while I cook. But I may have to turn on the air conditioner today. Um, because I know it's going to get pretty hot in the kitchen, especially with all these lights on. So yeah, so I'm just cutting up my potatoes. Um, and then I will put those, um, like I said, everything in the pot together. Because I'm going to need this pot to cook my green beans and I'm going to need it to heat up my ham. My ham is already fully cooked. So I just need to heat it up and I need the pot to do that. So have you guys started cooking your Christmas dinner? Um, I waited of course to the last minute to do mine, but I guess that's okay. Okay. And so after I cook my uh, sweet potatoes, I just sit this to the side and then cook my green beans and then cook the ham. And when I first started out, um, started my van life journey, I had two pots and I found that I only grew one. And to save on space, I end up um, purging a lot of things from the van, which is time to do another purge. So I'm trying to think if I'm going to have time to do it before the end of the year or maybe at the beginning of the year. we have to see. So guys, what desserts are you cooking um, for Christmas? Comment below. Okay. So I'm trying something new and I'll show you guys um, in just a second. It's a apple crisp um, I've never had it before so I hope it turns out to be delicious okay so I have everything cut up and then I'm just going to give um, my potatoes another wash again I washed them um, the skins before I peeled it and then I'm going to wash my potatoes and throw them in the pot here um, I'm going to add two cups of water to my pot
probably be creative today and uh, fancy up my potatoes. Guys, you may hear a lot of noise in the background. I apologize for that. Um, yeah, so you guys may hear a lot of noise in the background because I have my windows open. Um, and then for whatever reason, there's been a lot of kids out um, early this morning riding their bike. So sorry about the noise. So when I cook um, my mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes, well, when I cook my mashed potatoes, I don't add anything to the water. So it's okay to cook the mashed potatoes and the sweet potatoes in the same pot. Guys, what's your favorite green salad recipe? I'm looking to um, fancy up my salads. So please comment below um, some of your favorite green salad recipes. So not pasta salads, actual green salads. It's getting hot in here. Guys, it is already getting hot in this kitchen. And I can't find my other fire. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, so I have my sweet potatoes and my brown potatoes um, in the pot. And I'm going to let those cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. So while my potatoes are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start on my dessert. I am making this apple crisp. Can you guys see that? And so I have, um, I went ahead and squared some lemon in my bowl. And that's when I'm going to place the apples in so that they don't turn brown. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use both apples, but I'm going to go ahead and cut both of them up. And then just dip them in the, the lemon juice. And if I don't use both, then I can just save the apples for a snack later today. How many of you guys are getting a white Christmas? I haven't seen a white Christmas in so long. And I'm definitely not going to see one this year. Not with the forecast being in the 70s. The high 70s. want to take a minute and just kind of mix the apples around in the juice um, in the lemon juice so they don't turn brown on me so after I'm done cooking I plan on spending um, the rest of my day on the beach <laughs> last year for Christmas um, I was in Southern California and I stayed at the um, Silver Strand State Park on Coronado Island, which was really nice because it backed up to the beach. I think I may have shared a picture um, in my drive from Arizona to California uh, video. I won't be staying overnight at the beach, but I will be spending the rest of the day um, and tomorrow at the beach.
Carl's not eating his apples. But I hate wasting food. Mm. Delicious. Someone asked me in the comments about a trash can. Um, where do I keep my trash can? I do not um, have a trash can in my van because I take out my trash every day. So I just recycle um, my plastic bags. So I just recycle my plastic bags and use those um, to fill and then dump out and then dump my trash out. Okay, so I have the apples cut. Um, so for the microwave directions, let's see. Mm -hmm. So on here it calls for apple filling or canned apples. Or fresh apples okay fresh apples okay okay all right so I was reading the um, directions on the apple crisp and it says to lay out the apples evenly on a microwave safe dish of course there's directions here if you're cooking in an oven but I don't have an oven so spread the apples out um, on your dish and then you want to combine melted butter and the crumbs together and then sprinkle the mixture evenly over the apples seems easy all right so let's get that butter started how much butter do we need a half a stick melted all right butter 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 <laughs> Just had that butter. Where did my butter go? Hmm. Okay. Okay, so half a stick. So I got my butter here. And I'm going to stick that in the microwave for about for maybe about 30 seconds and then I just keep an eye on it. Guys, I microwave that butter a little too long. Now I have a mess in my microwave. Not okay. Not okay. God. Note to self. Only microwave butter for about 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah. 15, 20 seconds. Okay. So I have the butter melted and then I'm going to pour the mixture in with the butter.
I probably need a bigger mixing bowl. Oh, guys, I wish you can smell this. It smells so delicious. So delicious. I hope I have enough butter since my uh, butter exploded in the microwave. <laughs> ah. That's going to be fun cleaning up. Mix it until it turns to crumbs. Okay. I'm going to say that that is good to go. So I have all of my apples in the bowl and I covered it with the apple crisp. I am going to microwave it for um, eight to nine minutes. So I thought I was going to save those apples <laughs> for later. Now it's a good time to eat them. And that tastes even better with that lemon juice on it. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to check on, check on my potatoes. I'm going to use the same fork. Okay, so my potatoes are almost done. Um, I'm going to remove those from the pot and then cook my green beans and then my ham. And so I have about, sorry guys, I'm being nosy outside. I have about a minute left on the apple pie. Oh, guys, it smells so good. Oh, it smells so delicious. So delicious. So yeah, focus, Tiffany. Okay, yes, so I'm going to remove the potatoes from the pot, start my green beans, and then my ham, and I think that's it. And then I'm ready to eat. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. That looks delicious. Yes. Oh, the apple pie. It looks delicious, and I'm sure it tastes delicious. Yes. Okay, Tiffany, get out the microwave. Get out the microwave, Tiffany. Get out the microwave. Okay. Woohoo, those potatoes are about ready. Yum. Mm. Can you smell it? Oh, my word. Guys, whoever has vanilla ice cream, I share this pot with you. <laughs> I wish you could smell it. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Let's check on these potatoes. Oh, yes. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. For now, I am just going to my potatoes in this container. Actually, what do I want to do? Okay. Oh, hot, 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 hot. So I'm going to sit these to the side for a moment, and I'll come back to those. 
I need to drain the water off of my potatoes. I am working on the mashed potatoes. I am going to add one teaspoon of garlic salt, a half a cup of cheese, and two tablespoons of sour cream. Yummy. Delicious, delicious. So I've already drained the water off of the potatoes and I'm gonna just go ahead and smash those up. So I have the potatoes smashed up. And I'm going to add my, sorry guys, go ahead and add the garlic salt. Sour cream, one, and two. Oh God, oh, these mashed potatoes are so delicious. <laughs> cheese. So I'm going to set those to the side. So I'm done with the mashed potatoes. Now I'm going to start on the green beans and then I will come back to the sweet potatoes because I am going to add um, some brown sugar to my ham. And so whenever I cook the ham, I can just throw the sweet potatoes in um, with the brown sugar until they get caramelized. Yep. So everything is going to sit here. I'm almost done. Almost. So I'm going to clean my pot and then start those green beans okay so i washed and cleaned the green beans um off camera and i have those cooking so i will take and they should take about 20 minutes to cook so i'm going to take a 20 minute sit down break because i've been standing this whole time so i'm going to sit down and relax for about 20 minutes and then i will come back when i start on the ham So they are cooking. So we'll be back in about 20 minutes. I have a um, Hormel Classic Dinner Ham that's already sliced. So I'm just gonna take out about four pieces and lightly um, cook those in my skillet. And then while that's cooking, I'm going to make the glaze for my ham. Okay, so for my glaze, I am going to add in a half a cup of orange juice, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one cup of sugar, one cup of brown sugar, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of butter. Just stir everything up and let it slowly cook. It is starting to get thick. Yep, it's getting thick. 
Guys, I taste this. I did a taste test and it tastes so delicious. Mm. Delicious. Delicious. Can you smell it? Sliced. Looks like I can only get about three pieces um, in the skillet. Okay, so the last thing that I need to do before um, I fix my plate and eat, glaze up my um, sweet potatoes, my yams. So I am going to take some of my glazed topping out of the skillet, excuse me, out of the pot, and then just drop my sweet potatoes in and just let it cook. Put in the sweet potatoes. And let those cook and then I have the glaze here that I am going to pour over my ham so I'm just gonna let those cook for about five to ten minutes and then I'll be back okay so my yams is done it is nice and thick and I'm ready to eat I don't know if I um, showed you guys the salad or mentioned what I put in the salad, um, but I just used mixed greens. I added some walnuts and some blue cheese and dressing. So very simple. I was going to cut up some onions. I was going to cut up some onions, but um, I did a lot of cooking today and I decided not to um, add any onions. Okay, guys, so that wraps up today's video. I hope that you enjoy coming back into my home for another cooking video. Um, I look forward to sharing more videos with you guys. I think my next cooking video is going to be um, a pasta video. I think I'm going to cook a couple of pasta recipes and share that with you guys. Um, yeah, so I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great time with your family, friends, and loved ones. Um, I love you guys, and I appreciate you being here, your support, your encouragement. You guys are awesome. I mean, you guys are awesome, and I'm so grateful to have you um, a part of my family. So, yeah, I'm going to, I'm looking down at my food because I am ready to, let's see. I'm ready to eat. Ready to eat. I don't know if you guys can see what I got, but yeah. So I am going to stop rambling on, eat my food. Finished my meal two hours ago, and I'm still, and I'm still sitting in this chair. <laughs> I cannot move, guys. I cannot move. I am so full. I was hungry, and I ate well. Yes, I ate very well. But I want to try that apple pie. <laughs> Sounds delicious to you? Sounds delicious to me. <laughs> delicious. I don't think I'm going to make it to the beach. I can't move. If you guys was wondering what's in my glass, um, that is Sprite and fresh cranberries. I have my pie in this little bowl here for portion control small bowl portion control i wish i would have added more. two apples was plenty enough but i did eat like half of an apple <laughs> instead of using it all in my recipe so i kind of wish i would have had more apples to this but it's really delicious guys so for those of you that are in a van and don't have a oven <clears throat> excuse me for those of you that are in a van and don't have an oven um i highly recommend that you try this um apple crisp if you like apple pie which i love apple pie the only thing that's missing is the vanilla ice cream mm, that would have set it off 
but yeah so that's it guys i need to clean up i gotta clean up i got a lot to clean up a lot to clean up after i eat my food i'm headed to the beach <laughs> i am putting my toes in the sand mm. this is so delicious so delicious these potatoes these potatoes are delicious when food tastes good to you do you dance <laughs> guys these mashed potatoes go hard they are so delicious delicious what's your favorite mashed potato recipe comment below please share Gosh, these are brioche rolls. Mm. So delicious. I didn't know that they make them in hamburger buns too. I thought it only came in sliced bread. Mm. 